Okay, so for this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be choosing a domain name and then setting up some hosting and then connecting it all together. Um, I already have accounts set up, so for this you'll be setting up a brand new account. I'll have links in the descriptions or in the training, so you can just click on the links and it will take you to where you need to go. However, you don't have to use those ones, you can just use your own hosting, whichever one you prefer, but I'll cover that more in the video. Okay, so we'll cut across, we're on to Google now. Where I store all my domain names is on a website called Namecheap. So we'll go across to that, namecheap.com. Okay, so here you'll get all your information. So regardless of whatever one you wanted to choose, if you wanted to choose um, a website, and we'll call it just completely random one, uh, .co.uk. So Toucan Holiday Cottages .co.uk, and you just conduct a search. Now, it will tell you whether this is available. I'll give you a little tick here. Yep, so this one's available. It's five pound a year, and you've got lots of different options down the side here of what you can do. Add it to your cart, and that'll secure that for a year. You can do as many years as you want. You'll just click Add to Cart, and then you would go through a setup process to create an account. And your domain name will live there until it needs to be renewed every year. Now, when you're going through the purchase process with this, it will offer you hosting, security certificates, and all the rest of it. Just say no to all of that. You just want to secure this domain name, okay, or whichever domain name you want. Um, I'm just going to quickly sign into my account. Obviously, my account looks slightly different because I've got lots of domains in it. Okay, and see this one here. Memories and Mayhem, this is the one we're going to be doing the work on. So you click on Manage. And then when you go into Manage, you have this, Custom DNS. Okay, now when you go into it, it will just say Name Cheap Basic DNS. Um, but we're going to go in and add these bits of code. Okay, so to get these bits of code, these are domain name servers, and this is where your actual website is going to be hosted. So now the one I would recommend you use is called A2 Hosting. Again, I'll put the link in. And for yourself, you would come here, WordPress Hosting, because that's what we're going to be using. And then you would choose, we've got all different types. This is how much it is per month. It's not, not expensive. Um, just look at what, what it is you want. Generally, I would recommend this one or the Turbo but it is completely your choice. If you're just doing a little small website, you can just start with this one here. But these are all set for working with WordPress. Okay, so you would just click on get drive, get this, get that. Whichever, it will break you down the different costs of how much it is. If you're buying it in advance, it gets cheaper, uh, depending on what you want to do. Okay, so choose whichever one that you want from them. And once you've done that, You'll be go through again, make the payment, and set up an account. So I'll just log into mine. Okay, so once you've logged in, you'll see lots of different bits and pieces. Okay, now what you'll be looking for is you'll have web hosting, Turbo Web Hosting Performance Plus, or whatever your one is. So when you click into there, You'll see you've got this one here, it's called Name Servers. This will be different to what I do because each one's different, so I'm using a different account for this hosting. And you would just copy that, goes into piece one, that one, we'll go into number two, number three, and number four. Okay, so once you've done that, that will take 24 hours or so to actually connect up, 24 to 48 hours. If you're a new account, it might be much, much faster than that. Okay. So once we've done that, what we need to do is go to the cPanel. So here you have the login to cPanel. Okay. And you're going to just scroll down 
and you'll come to this one, WordPress optimized. You'll click in now and you'll just follow the steps. Okay, so I'm going to go and set this up now, just bear with me, I'll just pause this. Okay, so I'm in the C panel of the website we're going to be building. This one here, Memories and Mayhem, which is an e-commerce website. So, okay, so you're just going to click on WordPress to do your install. Choose Custom Install. We'll leave it as HTTP for the moment because we'll add some security stuff once we're in there. Good thing we're using A2 for your hosting. It includes your security, so no need to purchase extra security for it. We'll give it a name. Memories and Mayhem. We'll do the description. We'll add that when we go into the site. Add your username for logging in. Put your admin email, whichever I always just use my personal one. And we're going to come down, we're going to click install. Now it'll take a few minutes. Okay, so there we go. Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Okay, it gives you here is your login where you can log into the back end, and here is your front page. So we'll have a look see if it looks. There you go. So WordPress is now installed. This is just a blank canvas. So once you see this, you know you'll be able to start work. And if you want to get into the back of it, it'll just be wp-admin. Add the username that you put in. And that's us logged into our WordPress dashboard. So we're now ready to start working on the website. We're going to quickly go and set up a, an email first, and then we'll crack on with the website.